something called as inner. So every JBPM version will ship with its own JPDL. As I said, JPDL means Java Process Definition Language. You choose this site, you open it and install it. So I'm gonna install this one. So we have installed JPDL, you restart Eclipse. We have one more last step to go. It's so JBoss tools will have some support archives to develop our application. We need two things from JBoss tools. We are going to use the JBoss application server plugin and we are going to use the ESB plugin. We have one last thing to go. It is JBoss tools and let's do it. Go to the downloads folder and you extract the JBoss tools. So I'm gonna go inside. I have the Eclipse folder. Copy this URL. You go to Eclipse. Again, software updates. Add site. Local. Paste. Okay. Okay. Okay, you have got all the tools from JBoss tool site. So we need only two things. We want the ESB tools and we want the AS tools. You can also choose the JPDL tools if you want. And others are optional. I'm gonna install this. Okay, we are done. Restart again. Okay. So if you go to file new, you should find something called JBPM. If you find this JBPM, then you have successfully installed the JPDL. If you get this ESB module, then you have successfully installed the ESB tools also. So to create a JBPM project, just give process project click next and it will ask you for runtime so jbpm runtime is what we call it as 3.2.6 so i have to give that folder see you can find it here so our ours is 3.2.6 and we have to choose a location and it will be in our home directory f colon jbpm 3.2.6 okay here we have our runtime
if you click this option it will give you a sample process and it will give you some sample files to easily get started finish So you had two errors. It is missing a file activation that jar. It actually happens in this particular version. So you had to copy this particular jar file from the JBoss server and place it in JBPM. So go to where the server is installed. In the LIB you will find activation that jar you copy this jar and you go to jbpm folder go to jbpm folder and you paste it in the lib properties build part So here there is no activation that jar, so it's here. It should take. All right, it's gone. Fine. Now we need the server. You go to servers. You right click, and you give server. Now you should find this JBoss community server. This is the one which is useful to deploy projects. So you had to ignore this JBoss version. You had to use this particular one. Our JBoss server is 4.2.3, so I'm gonna take this 4.21. Okay, let's take 4.2. Next. Now you have to give the uh, create home directory. Again, f colon jbpm jbus server so this is my home directory give next give next finish okay now we have configured the server you have created a jbpm project you start this Server is started. This is just information. We don't take it as a serious error. So here is our server startup message. So once the server is started, you can deploy projects. If you expand the JPDL, you can create projects here. In our next video. I will explain you how to create projects and we will do a sample using all the nodes. Thank you.